Greetings and welcome back to Microtown. I'm Catherine of Sky, and last time we set up brewing for the masses. We had a great time with this. Our people are like, yeah, we're getting stuff. We are transporting the beer to our taverns and different places. Now that was quite interesting. They went all the way around. Interesting. Let's make sure that they don't do that anymore and put a road in here. <laughs> I'm also wondering if I should make tiny little, um, I don't know, little townlets here and there. Perhaps like maybe one over here in this little cove of trees. Um, so to, so we can separate these um, taverns from one another. That could be a useful thing, perhaps. I don't know. Uh, okay, let's take that one that way and um, maybe get some houses in here, possibly. How are we doing on the rest of our happiness here? We have, let's see, 13 from taverns. Okay, almost maxing the taverns. I'm waiting kinda. I'm wondering if we need more crops. Uh, we'll look at that in just a second. Um, the markets, markets are great. Markets we have plenty of, that's fine. Now then, uh, let's look, what do we have here in terms of paper, beer. We have eight beer, six beer. So we ha should have enough. I think it's just not getting distributed properly. That might be the issue. We have a few people standing around, so it can't be that we're out of people. We have 41 idling. I'm wondering about the barley though. We forgot to check the barley. Let's check this. 15 barley available. So not sure what's going on here, folks. Not sure, my little peoples. Are you guys doing your job? <laughs> Are we doing the job? I don't know. I don't know. Um, we could add farms here this way, perhaps. Could add one like here. Well, we could just add it right here, actually. Put one there and add our farms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. That's just fine. We'll have our road go up this way. Oh, and here's our army of folks ready to deliver the lumber on schedule. Yes. Okay. Take this one maybe there. And again, we had sixteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, that's fine. That should work. And make sure we'll fill them with uh, three workspaces. Come on. Go away. Go away. Shoot. Here. There we are. Uh, black those out. I wonder if there's a way to, like, copy each building like i know shift copy her shift click makes a copy of the building but like to copy the settings that would be nice to have like a copy and paste on the settings here beer two yeah running out of uh, barley no barley in these uh, little huts so that's an important thing our numbers might fluctuate slightly since we got rid of the excess uh but it'll be fine we'll we'll get there eventually it'll be fine <laughs> It will be fine. I promise. All right, let's look at the next. Oh, wow. 40 points for whatever we just did. Probably the beer goal. We'll click on this again and see what we can do. So should we put our... Oh, we should get... I wonder if we should just get more happiness. Let's go for clothing. Um, and then we can, yeah, work that out. That's going to be fun. Now, clothing uses hemp, just like the bookbinding does. So I'm wondering if I should just build it down here because these places have no shortage of hemp at all. And the bookbinding is going fine. It's really not, it's not even a needed process at the moment. Oh, it would be nice if we click this and open the research screen. But um, we have 250. 222 points and the reason i'm unlocking these one at a time is just because it's easier to see the different buildings in the build menu over here so um yeah i think we probably have enough to unlock uh, yeah we have enough to unlock everything right now so 
anyway, we don't actually need this whole process. So that's, that's, it's decorative. It's nice, but I think we should start building clothing out here. Um, because that's, it's not really necessary. And I don't think we should, you know what? In fact, maybe what I'll do is I'm going to move this. I'm just going to take this over here and then get these vats and we'll just have one of these things functioning as kind of like a little toy farm thing that we can do with um yeah just showing off it's like yeah this is a process this is happening it works yay right now we have new things we have a textile mill uh, a carding mill and a tailor so first of all we need to turn the raw hemp into yarn and that's going to happen at the carding mill so I guess, what do we need? We just need hemp into yarn, okay? I think... I think I want to make a road here somewhere. Here? Or here is fine? Be nice if I actually clicked the part of the road that was a road. Of course, we, we don't have to, technically. <laughs> but we could, and it might be nicer. <laughs> Come on, folks. We need to dismantle this. Oh, they're probably working over here. That's what's going on. Have we... Yeah, we did assign three people. That's good. All right. So there's a little bit of waiting here. We can actually speed up our folks right now and get them to building over here. Maybe we should put the maximum of builders higher. Let's see. No, that's the distribution. Here it is. Let's have a maximum of, say, 10 builders. Okay, good. That way, some of them will at least deconstruct these buildings so we can get other stuff going on here. Nice. Okay, great. That is looking so much better. And I'm liking that we're able to kind of start integrating the town just a tiny bit. Okay, need a road there. Good, good. Nice. Wow, the beer brewing festival's going on. The yay is real. Looking very good. Looking really good indeed. Okay, perfect. So now, let's go ahead and build the carding stuff. Uh, tavern, brewery. No, I think the clothing is just generally distributed through the world here. Now, how do we want to do stuff? Do we want... Let's see. How, how, how? What I'm looking at is which of these have auxiliaries. Ah, sewing desk. Nearby. Nearby loom. Nearby spinning mule. Okay, so all of these have auxiliary machines so let's uh put them on here and we'll go with this let's do one and two and we're going to try to put these a little bit smarter so these are the tailors this is the end thing okay sews fabric into clothing for a nearby tailor we can have three because they can have three employees we're going to put three desks around each of the buildings okay and then we have the textile mill and that's probably also a worker building because, yeah, looms, you kind of have to be present for that to happen. Um, let's build two of these. Okay, one, two, oh no, hello. One, two, three, okay. Now, the tail, no, not the tailor, the carding mill. Um, okay. We need to have two different things for this. This is a special thing. Let's put this here and find out what we need from this. Okay. Oh, you could have specializing people that only do one or the other looks like it. Well then, huh. I don't think that would be very efficient though. So I think we're just gonna do this uh, and then just copy one, two, three. Let's just have four, sure. And then carding machine first. Then thingy machine next. And then have a road as well. Not going up this way. Nope, nope, nope. Cancel that one. Okay, speed this up a bit. And hopefully get stuff going. Now, did we run out of uh, wood? Yeah, we ran out of wood. Can we put this here? Yeah, we sure can. Actually, we'll take down these trees, but I don't think we need any more than that. Let's get one of these, uh, more of these lumberjacks working because we do need a fair amount of planks for all of this construction here. I keep forgetting. I, I want to prioritize the 
woods that I haven't cut down yet, obviously, but you know, that can be a harder thing to do than we think. Um, because otherwise, you know, these um, silos, they fill up with planks and then it's like, nope, you can't uh, prioritize that area anymore. Sorry, not a thing. All right, let's go. Let's get people going here. How many people? We have 44, 40 waiting for work. Ah, we need to look at the idling. Only 12 idling. That's not good. We really need more people, I think. All right, so let's add a few more houses. So it's kind of important. Or have this nice little row of houses here. Good. We'll get our little uh, roads in here. I love the music to this game too. <laughs> it's so funny. I just want to sing along. Oh, it's so cute. All right, looks like stone slabs never run out, which is kind of handy. Though I can't say that I, I'm a fan of this. I kind of would like if they, if we had to build some more stone production, because there's a huge amount of stone everywhere on the map. And even though we can use it for other things like coal and iron ore, uh, it still would be nice to have a little bit more stone production. But I think that the general problem is that each of the buildings only requires like one stone and then they need three planks so you need so much more of the wood and i guess that makes sense um in a realistic point of view because you might have stone for the foundation floor or something to protect your house um, from rotting for example um, and then build the rest out of timber because it's a much easier material to work uh, you can chop it more easily whereas stone takes a heck of an effort it really does now look at this we have six breweries and only three are functioning at any one time. Why? Why game? Why you do? <laughs> this is weird. So I'm wondering if each of these only needs one brew house each or one, what are they called? Brewing vat? It's so weird that it takes so long for them and they don't make, they don't function. That's really odd. Okay. Anyway, hopefully that will get sorted out. Okay, so these can produce multi- or these can support multiple employees here. Uh, we're not going to increase them until we can actually get some production done here. So at the moment we have stuff. We have- we can actually get more of these lumberjacks on the job. There we go. There we are. Nice, nice, nice. Yep, but these folks are still waiting. It's like, no. I do love the sawhorses. Those is one of my favorite animations. The whole like wood <laughs> dissolving into these beautiful confetti showers of chips, <laughs> wood chips, <laughs> and of course sawdust. But yeah, I can just imagine them and all the wood chips and all the things and all the stuff. Yay! Okay, let's get our peeps. Come on, folks, finish doing stuff. Go, go, go! Uh, at least the hemp farmers are quite busy here. They uh, they definitely have well not busy. They're just like all right. Well, we'll ha you know uh, harvest every every little while or so. It'll be fine. Yeah. Okay, folks, we got to get this stuff done. All right, we have two uh, foresters, lumberjacks working full out to get this going which seems to be working quite nicely. We might even get a third because it does seem like they're able to keep up pretty darn well with stuff. The foresters, you can see, are planting the tiny trees as well. Looking, looking really, really nice. Man, I, I just wish for these spruces because they are so darn pretty. Um, but it looks like we do have plenty of planks. So I'm hoping we're going to get some of this done. I probably shouldn't have planted all these houses because it's going to take a little while for them to finish. So that's one thing that the game definitely, I don't know if punish is the right word uh, to, to be, yeah, to be included here, but you're not allowed to plan things. But once we get the priority button, that things are going to get solved, I think. It's going to be great. So you look at our population again, eight or 10 idling. That's a far cry from before brewing. And now we have the weaving uh, groups as well. 
So it's going to be interesting to see what the balance is. But that's why I planted the extra houses here. I shouldn't say planted the extra. It's not like the grow. We, we actually dig them up from the earth. So we're, we're digging up houses. It's funny because <laughs> it's, it's very directly related to where I live uh, at the moment in Wyoming. And um, every house has a basement. So whenever they construct a new house, they dig it up. They dig a big hole in the ground. It's like, oh, did they find the house yet? I wonder. <laughs> so my my mom and I have a little joke about that when we travel. It's like, oh, look, they're digging up house. So yeah, that's the thing. Uh, all right, clothing usage, no clothing usage available for residents. Okay, so we have to, once we have unlocked clothing, that's when we get the stats for this. Uh, and we can see if they have that or not. Apparently we do not care about beer usage, either that or it's so widespread that it's not even worth mentioning to these people. Um, but wow, look at this. We're actually looking, looking for workers. Okay, that means we have probably too many, um, too, too many not people. <laughs> we have an insufficiency of population. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> but look at these people. Are the, oh, those are the farmers. Okay, those are the barley people. Okay, so we have more than enough farms, clearly. We have more than enough water wells because there's nothing getting done. And yet, somehow, these breweries are never ever full. In fact, there should be six running at all times. Here we have two, three, four, uh, five, uh, five again. Is that six for a moment? Maybe. It's, yeah, silly. I don't know how that happens. Um, I thought they should be able to take care of two each, uh, if not three, but I don't know. Oh, 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 look, the fiber is happening. Look at this. The carding is going on. They're leaping it over to the spinning mule. Fantastic. I have to admit, I'm not familiar with the term spinning mule. Um, I, 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 I've always heard them called spinning wheels, but maybe it's some different contraption that I don't know about yet. That could be. But they are getting stuff done. They are getting the hemp. And then these people uh, are probably needed. Let's do two workers each here. We should be getting more workers momentarily uh, coming in here. There we go. We have 27 idling. All right, we got people. We got the stuffs. So, oh, and the hemp's like, whoa, wait, you know, increase of orders. What are we doing? Hurry, harvest the hemp. It's a thing. Okay, there we go. Nice. Excellent. And there's a guy just like joy running out in the wilderness. He's like, nobody can see me. I can run wherever I want. Oh, the freedom of going back to the grind. <laughs> He thought he escaped for a bit, but no, 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 no. This is the KOS dictatorship. It will be fine whether you like it or not. <laughs> That's funny. All right. We have clothing production. So how is this going? Okay. So we have stuff. We've got fabric over here and we have clothing so we can see if anybody, oh, somebody is already wearing through their shirts. Look at this. We have several seconds probably 700 maybe seconds that's um quite a lot actually that's quite a lot that's like uh, 10 minutes or so that's 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 good it's it's clothing that clearly well wears well i mean it's not made out of leather but man it it wears for a while that's great we just need to make sure that they get the clothing oh and you can disable clothing usage apparently as well but that is another mark of happiness, I think. Or is it? It doesn't seem to be on here. Our people are ambivalent about clothing. Maybe they like running around naked. <laughs> Maybe that's a thing. <laughs> I do wonder. Okay, so here's a guy delivering clothing here. Sending it to one of these houses. This one here. Okay, nice. <laughs> it's interesting I, I wonder if like in the future there's going to be a market like delivering to an area of effect or at least sort of distribution area or is it going to be one person they're like you know medieval drones or something carrying it to like hey that house needs some let me go deliver it it's quite cute but it's like hmm but yeah we don't have any 
we don't have any appreciation for the clothing. But everyone's euphoric. That's great. We're quite happy about this. But why are we making clothing? We should let everyone run around naked because they clearly don't care. I could have sworn it affected happiness, but maybe I was completely mistaken. I don't know. Anyway, it seems to be a good balance. Um, at the moment, I don't think if there's any way we can see how much of the population is covered by clothing. <laughs> That's a fun way to put it, isn't it? <laughs> Sorry, laughing at my own jokes, but <laughs> that was funny. Uh, anyway, I don't know if there's a way we can see how much we are <clears throat> selling to our clearly not couture residents. Um, yeah. They're just like, hey, why? Why clothing? Why did you have to do this to us? How are we doing on food? I think we're probably fine. Uh, we have lots of hams, eight awaiting delivery, many more on the racks, many pigs planted in the garden. Yes, it's a thing. <laughs> um, do we have enough hemp? Let's check on that real quick. Let's see, hemp 27. Yeah, we have enough. We have six beer waiting as well. 32 barley. We are not running out of anything. Uh, we have lots of fabric, lots of clothing. Wow, eight clothing? Really? Okay, so that's just piling up. We do not need more of anything. We're serving everybody. This is great. We can actually just maybe start gently increasing the population, I think. So we can maybe just like make some houses here. Uh, there we go. Um, I'm trying to make the town look a little bit more natural, even if, especially we don't want the roads to be too straight. We want them to be a little bit, have funny corners in them. Like that is good. These people have their local neighborhood pub and it's fine. We might choose to go for bread next because we might need the extra food. I don't know. But this seems to be working very, very well. We have 64 planks and we're just going to get some more people. I want to see how big of a colony we can build. And we're going to use these tools that we discovered, the item reports to figure out, do we have enough of stuff? One thing that would might be really nice to, um, I don't know, for the UI is something that enables us to see high level products all on one line. Like I would want, you know, planks, stone slabs, and then uh, food items, uh, the ham, the beer, the um, clothing. Yeah. What is this? Sliver? An intermediate product between hemp and yarn. Aha, created by the carving machine. That's right. Okay. So anyway, have those kind of at the top so you can see at a glance, like, what are we missing? What are we... Uh, close to and then maybe chains downward or something to see what is in the chain for those different products that might be an interesting kind of a, a thing to do but anyway i think i think something's gone very strange with the uh the scrolling here we might have too many people already i don't know but anyway this seems like a great time to end the episode thank you so very much for joining me take care of yourselves and each other and i'll see you next time